Alrighty, hello guys, welcome in faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are going to be building another tank, and as you guys already know, we have built lots and lots of tanks in the past. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to try and build a mid-war tank that can take on a King Tiger that is sunk into the ground. That is one of the missions, and we are going to try and do it. So, let's go and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so we are going to be building in the sandbox mode because uh, it's easier to see what I'm building in this mode So that's why we're doing it uh, and then we'll actually go into the scenario and hopefully get it done there as well Which would be pretty awesome uh, But what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna start building and hopefully it'll end up looking quite good uh, I think it's gonna be quite a small tank with a big gun on the back um, So I think that'd be pretty cool, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it shall we? Okie dokie, so we are going to go with something that is actually going to be six long and two wide. There we go, six meters long and two meters wide. We're also going to have a fixed turret at the back because I think that'll be actually pretty fun uh, and pretty cool to see. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, and it's actually going to be very small, I guess? Uh, so the length of the middle section is actually going to be very small. So we'll do something like this. Uh, and the length of the front can actually be quite long if we wanted to. Uh, and we could do something like that. There we go. That actually seems pretty cool. We'll then do something like this on the back. And yeah, you know what? That actually seems pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so it is going to be fixed. There we go. As you guys can see, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring it in. So they're directly in the same place. Good. And we're going to offset it all the way to the back. There we go. All right. That's pretty cool. I like it. Good. All right. Go back to the hole and we'll do this. Angles. Angles, guys. Angles. Good. Uh, we're not going to have any cheeks on this because... Oh, actually, maybe we should. There we go. Well, it would be a weird looking tank because why not? You know? Why not? Okay, so. Uh, mobility. Let's go straight to this. Go straight to tracks and figure this out. So. Uh, actually, no, wait. Go to base. Go to hull. Uh, and we're going to go to the lower section and we're going to raise up the height just a little bit. We're going to make it 90. Not 0 0.90. Okay, excellent. Then we go to mobility and we start lifting these up all the way up to there. We're going to lift this up and make it go backwards a little bit. And we're going to lift this up as well because uh, I think that's actually pretty cool. We're also going to change the sprockets and stuff because uh, I want it to look nice. And um, yeah, this is our way of doing it, I suppose. We're going to change all of it to that. That's all excellent. We'll change this as well. Uh, track segments are actually going to be those ones. Actually, no, we'll go with these ones. And that seems pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty epic. I like it. Good. All right, go back to the base. We're going to make this go backwards quite far like that. And so far, this seems quite cool. I like it. Good. Uh, right. Okay. So with all that being said, let's try and figure out the rest of it, shall we? Uh, right. Mobility. We are going to make it a little bit bigger in terms of this is going to be smaller. Okie dokie. But the, uh, the idlers, sorry, the road wheels are going to be a little bit bigger. Like, like this. There we go. And I think that's actually pretty sick. I think this looks kind of interesting. Uh, go back to the base, go to the turret, and lower the top down just a little bit. And yeah, we'll actually slap the gun on straight away. So it's going to be one of these. Because we can actually move it side to side, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, but we want it to be up there. So the way you do it, apparently, is you go to here... You lift this up, and you angle that bit backwards. And actually, I think that looks better anyway, so we're going to do that. Okay, firepower. Go ahead and grab this guy. Put it right there. Excellent. Uh, and we're going to make it have a pretty decent gun. It's going to be 100 caliber, 100 millimeter caliber. Shell length, I want to say really big. There we go. We're going to go with really big. Uh, and then the length of this is actually going to come all the way out as well. And there we go. Penetration of 177 millimeters. That's not bad at all. That's actually really good. Uh, the gun itself, I think, looks pretty nice. Um, let's see if we can actually angle it down. We can't seem to angle it anywhere because we don't have a gunner's sight or anything. So I'll put the gunner's sight actually up here. And there we go. That's pretty good. Go to crew. Crew hatches. We're going to put one of these huge on the back. Here we go. This is for the gun rounds to actually escape out of. There we go. Excellent. Uh, viewports, we'll put the driver's seat down here on the very front in the middle. And we'll also put two of these facing outwards on there. Okay, excellent. Commander's Coupla. 
Uh, we'll actually put one of those on the side at the tippity top, somewhere up here. Okay, excellent. That doesn't look too bad at all. Antennas, we're actually going to go with one of these, and it's going to go there. And stowages, we're not going to put any of those on just yet. Okay, excellent. This is looking good so far. Good. We're also going to go ahead and put a bucket and spade on here. On the other side, we're going to put these guys to fix the tracks. And we don't need one of these because the turret doesn't turn. So there you go. Uh, right, do we want any logs on board? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, good. Stowages. So this is where things get kind of interesting. Because we can have stowages on here. They just have to be really small. Uh, and to be honest with you, I, I guess that would be pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and put one right there. And we'll have one right next to it as well. There we go. And yeah, that seems pretty sick to me. So this would be a mid-war gun. And originally, I would say that it shouldn't really have... Like, this would be an armor shield, but it would be open. Uh, but we can't do that in this game, which sucks. But anyway, everybody's going to have the ultimate amount of space. Like, a ton of space. Uh, and that's all going to be epic. That's all going to be really cool. Alright, so... These things are actually weakness, so we're going to go ahead and put those on the top. They're not likely to get shot up there, so that's fine. Structural, we're actually going to go ahead and add some of these. We're going to add some... They're like extra armor, so we're going to add them right there. A little bit smaller. We'll add them right there. That's excellent. Uh, and we'll actually make this bit the same. So we'll angle this like so. And we'll have a big old armor pad on the front. One right there, and then one in the middle. Actually, we'll do two, so we'll do it like this. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like the way this looks. Good. So let's say we've got all of that. We've got our big gun. We've got all of the room for all of the people inside. Um, we have ammo uh, stored inside. We'll actually go up to, like, I think we'll have a very limited amount. Actually, we'll go with 30. And we'll actually have a very, very limited amount of this with 10. Okay, excellent. we still got a hell of a lot more room. So we need to go to the engine. And we need to make it very powerful. So, advanced. Yes. We got a 12 liter, sorry, 12 cylinder engine with 2 liter each. So that's what, a 24 liter engine? That seems pretty big, to be fair. So, yeah, that's pretty big. Idle, I can't remember how this works. I honestly can't remember how this works. So, target max is going to be 3,400. There we go. So, 3,400. 3,400. This is going to be 1,700, and then this will actually be uh, 3,400. Actually, it'll just be 3,000. There we go. So horsepower per ton is actually 20, so that's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's actually really, really good. Apparently, we're going to be very fast. That's good. All right, so for fuel, uh, we're not going to carry too much. We'll go with 200. There we go. Uh, fenders, we've already got those on. I don't ever know whether I want these extra pieces. So let's say we had this. It would have to go on here like that. And to be honest, I think that's pretty cool, but still. Do we like it? I think I like it, you know. Well, if you add that on there, we'll leave it on. And we'll attach another piece like this. Make it just as big. There we go. Put it right there. And we'll do another one of these, possibly. There we go. And then we need another one of these to go the other way around. Whee! There we go, and go on there like that. Okay, excellent. So, that's all pretty cool. But, we need the fender to be a little bit wider so that it actually meets up. Bam. There we go, excellent. That seems pretty awesome. I like this so far. Livery, we're going to go with... Oh, what do we go with? I want to go with this, but I want to change it to be green. Is that weird? Can I even do that? I don't know if I can do that. Autumn. No, desert. Maybe this one. Maybe this one, because it, it starts off desert-y, but then we can make it like this. Saturation, quite high. Brightness, down. Yeah, there we go. Somewhat like this. That actually looks pretty good. Condition, lower. Grime, quite a bit. Yeah. All right, we're going to roll with that. That seems pretty cool. Decals, we're going to make this thing... I want to say Russian... Uh, so we're gonna make it Russian. We're gonna... There we go. And we'll have the star on the side just like so. Same on the other side. It's already on. Excellent. And that works. Okay, good. Flags, we could put flags on, but we're not going to. Okay, so all of that is actually fine. I actually really like it. Good. 
Um, so we'll leave that as is. Crew, we've already done. Uh, we've already put everything on except... Actually, we haven't. We need lights. So we'll put those on right there. Put the lights on the back as well, like this. We need all the other stuff, so... Um, we've already got one of those. Good. Storages, we've already got. Lights, we don't. Uh, this stuff. Okay, so... Because it's Russian... We'll actually put some logs on the rear. Like that. There we go. Anti-infantry. We'll actually put one of these directly on the top. And that seems pretty good. And we'll also have an anti-infantry gun right about here as well. There we go. Just in case we need it. Excellent. Structural. I do kind of want to add more armor plates. I want to add more armor. There we go. We'll add one right there. Which is actually going to go right in the middle of the star. That's fine. Uh, we'll add another one right about here. And we'll add another one in the middle, if we can. Can we add it directly in the middle? There we go, just like that. Okie dokie, excellent. Let's go ahead and make sure this is on both sides. Bam! And that's all extra armor. Okay, so will this work? That is the question. That is honestly the, the biggest question we have. Um, everything's on it, so let's go. Wait, 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 wait. There is some other things that we need to change. We need to be able to make the gun turn from left to right. So we need to go to firepower. We need to go to cannon. Uh, do do gun mount. There we go. And we need it to actually be able to turn. So torque. We're gonna go with so much torque. And there we go. Some X acceleration. That's pretty good. Okay, so it can go from side to side. That's pretty excellent. Uh, it should be able to go up and down as well, which it can. There we go, let's make it go as fast as possible. There we go. Uh, and that seems pretty good. So we can lift it up and down and go left and right. Good. As for the end of the gun, the muzzle brake, I think I like this one. I do. I like that one the most. But I don't know which country uses it the most, so I could be wrong in using that. But anyway, it's fine. Alright, okay. So we could make it smaller if we wanted to. We don't want to. I think this is it. Let's go. Yeah, no, this is definitely it. Okay, can we turn the gun from side to side? Let's stay still. It's slow, but it is possible. Okay, so this thing has to take on a tiger tank. Okay, we need to do something else to it as well. So turret, armor, we need it to be very armored. Okay, so the armor of the turret needs to be a lot. So the front is actually going to be 140 mil. That is a crazy amount, I'm not going to lie. We're going to make the side 100 and the roof 0, uh, essentially. The ring doesn't exist. The side does. So we'll go with about 75 on there. Roof again, 0. Okay, rear, cheek. Let's go with 75 again. There we go. I'm hoping to never be side on, so that's okay. Uh, rear, 35. And roof of the rear, also 35, because it is actually angled down. Okay, excellent. We then need to go to the armor of the hull. Yes, we do. So the armor of the hull needs to be bigger. So go to armor. Let's go ahead and make the lower section 100, 100 mil. There we go. Uh, this thing is going to be heavy. It's already 47 tons. Uh, front little strip is going to be maximum. It's just a tiny amount. That's okay. Uh, mid section, 110. I think we're good. I think we're actually good to go. The sides... Uh, already 100. Okay, I think this is good to go. I do. So go to firepower. Uh, go to gun mount. And the armor is already 100. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for a fight. Let's save this and we'll go fight a king tiger. Okie dokie. So this is the reason that I, uh, I did it that way. So let's go with a 47 ton. Here it is. Okay, this is it. This is all we've got. We've got one tank and we are going to battle. Here we go. So this is the king tiger killer. If we can see the King Tiger already, which it, we can. It's right there. See if we can take a hit from it. Yes, we can. Okay, we're going to drive towards it. And we're going to see if we can kill this King Tiger. Let's go. We're going to take some more hits. I'm intentionally going to actually take hits here. Let's try and drive through there. Excellent. We could have fired back, but we haven't. It's a bit bouncy. It's a bit bouncy. All right, okay. Let's line ourselves up for a shot. We're aiming too low. We're aiming too low. All right, we took another hit. We're taking hits from a King Tiger here. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, right. We can't we can't pen its armor from here. 
So let's continue forwards in our muscle tank. Let's go. Muscle tank. Do, do, do. Don't shoot my belly. That would suck. All my roof. That would also suck. Okay, we're going in, guys. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How is the King Tiger going to deal with being rammed? I wonder. <laughs> um, okay, so this is how you do the mission, uh, presumably. I don't know whether we can actually see the King Tiger in a photo, but... Victory! That's how you kill a King Tiger, guys. That's how it works. It's just, it's just so easy. Nice. Okie dokie. So since that was a bit of a fluke, we ended up landing on the King Tiger. We're actually going to go sideways. Hopefully it doesn't kill me here. We're going to go sideways and we're actually going to try and shoot it from quite far away. Uh, and we're going to shoot it in its side and then presumably it'll die straight away. But I really don't know. Uh, essentially we shot it in its, in its, in its roof. Uh, which is actually not very armoured because uh, why would you get shot by a tank in its roof? But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go sideways a little bit. A little bit more. Hopefully our tank is not too high for this. And uh, we'll be able to shoot it in its side. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right, so it took its shot. Let's go ahead and angle ourselves the right direction. There it is. Okay, no, it's not actually dug in either. I think it can turn. Can we kill it if we just keep aiming here? 20 seconds, sorry, two seconds, go. No. All right, we're gonna go on the attack. We're gonna go for it. Crush this tree. Here we go, but we're still gonna try and kill it from far away. We just need to shoot it in its side. That's all. Oh, it's immobilized me. That's not amazing. That's not good, because I can't turn. And it's going to shoot me in the side and I'm going to die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I can't actually do anything here. I've been immobilized by a king tiger and I'm just going to die. Also, I can barely see what's going on. This map is so... Yeah. Uh, right, okay, go to mobility, go to tracks, and we'll see what actually happened there. So thickness, we're going to go with thick tracks. There we go. And honestly, we're going to get some spare tracks as well, and we're going to whack them up there. There we go. And we're going to have, like, multiple. No, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we, maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Okay, right, well, I mean, that's okay, right. Okay, so, um, no, it's not, it's not. That just looks weird. Uh, that just looks really strange. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and put some spare tracks on the front like this. There we go, we can tank some hits like that. And we'll put some tiny spare tracks up here like this. And honestly, if I can fit some more above it, I'll do it. There we go, all right, cool. No, that looks weird. There we go. All right, cool. So we get the spare tracks up there. So we can kill the King Tiger. We just have to get very close to it. So let's just go again. We'll tank all the hits uh, once again, and we'll see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so the first hit will be coming in very soon. Oh, tracks are mobilized again. Tracks have been immobilized again. That sucks. That sucks, because we can't actually turn our tank when our tracks are mob immobilized. So I don't really know what to do in that situation, to be honest. Let's go to fenders. Width of the fenders is fine, but the section length will make smaller. Angle will actually bring offset. Oh, I can only offset it from the back. That actually looks pretty cool if we, if we do it like that. Okay, so I can't add armor to the front of the tracks, so I don't know how to make the tracks... I don't know how to make the tracks work better, if that makes sense. We can't add extra tracks. That's not how it works. But, um... Yeah. Track length may be smaller? So we have lots of them. There we go. Let's go. Try this. Okie dokie, guys. So we've gone out and got up on a hill to the side of the tiger. Let's go ahead and see if we can shoot it now. There it is. It's not actually to the side because the tiger turns. It does actually move. Which is interesting. But we are quite fast, so let's go speedy Gonzales over this way. Hopefully not die. If we die, I'd be sad. Okay, we took a big hit there. 
We took a huge hit there. All right, keep driving. Don't kill me. Turn towards it before the hit. There we go, and see what happens here. Ready? Yeah, it is just turning with me, so that's not good. Maybe if we shoot it directly on its coupler, or coupler, uh, we should be able to kill it that way, right? So let's aim just a little bit above, and shoot. Nope. Okay, right. It's just took a shot. Let's drive. Go, 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 go. Our side armor is not the best, so every time it goes to shoot, we need to turn towards it. There we go. Okay, excellent. We should be more in its side now. Where is it? There it is. There it is. We're not actually in its side at all, apparently. All right, keep driving. We're just gonna go towards it now. We're gonna tank the hits from the uh, from the tiger, and we're just gonna drive straight towards it. Okay, here we go. Cause we are a tank. We're in a tank, and we are a tank. I think that missed. Okay, we are right next to it now, and it's my shot next. What are you gonna do, Tiger? What are you gonna do? Please don't kill me. Okay, well, we've tracked it, so that's good. Hey, there we go. All right, easy peasy. We've built a tiger killer, and actually, I think we did a pretty good job. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoy Sprocket, let me know in the comments down below, and maybe I'll do some more. But anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. If you guys have any ideas on what we can do in Sprocket, Again, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, for right now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.